Hi, ex Jehovah's Witnesses. As you know, it's true, I am writing a book. It's going to be called The Great Apostate. Why be a reluctant apostate when you can be a great one? It's going to be very cheap and very funny, and you're going to love it and say nice things about it and review it in good ways and hopefully send my family on holiday next year. So in order to, uh, to give you some fun, I thought I'd read you another little excerpt from it, uh, and it's called Shunning for Fun. I have been shunned and ignored by almost every single person I have ever known. All the people I call brother and sister. All the people that as a child you call auntie and uncle. Even although, <clears throat> even though they weren't really related, but our families were simply that close, uh, they all shunned me. Being shunned is not usually much fun. It's embarrassing and cruel and makes you look and feel like a dick in public, unless you don't let yourself be shunned. Most former Jehovah's Witnesses have no idea that, like the tango, shunning takes two. It turns out that it is incredibly difficult to not talk to someone if they keep talking to you. So that's exactly what I decided to do. I made the decision to not be shunned. I decided that whenever I saw an old friend who now thought I was too terrible to speak to, I would do all the talking for them. I'm good at that. <laughs> I have walked up to former friends as they sat in doctor's offices or stood beside those tacky little information cards that they have nowadays. But the most fun I've had with shunning was one day in the local supermarket. I was shopping for groceries with my wife and walking slowly through the meat section when I saw an old witness friend and his wife. We were walking towards one another and I knew that they knew I was here. They started looking frantically around them and then became intensely interested in some products on the bottom shelf. So I just walked up to them. Hi David, hi Mary. What you doing down there? I asked cheerfully. Hello Neil, replied David. At this point Mary was literally dragging him away. But if one thing in life is true, it is this. When you see someone you know in a supermarket, you will see them again and again in every aisle. We met again beside the baked beans. So, how's it going? I said with a smile on my face. Uh, not bad, Neil. How are you? David said. Well, Mary gave me a half smile and they quickly walked away again. I'm doing great, I said as we reached for milk a few minutes later. Lots of free time these days. It soon became obvious to them that shunning is a two-way street. And in a supermarket, all streets lead to me and my constant chatter. I have actually heard stories of XJWs being visited by elders who were there to tell them off for not honouring the shunning rules. Needless to say, my vocal elders have never bothered to visit me, but they do walk away a little faster when they see me coming. Guys, thanks very much for listening. Uh, I hope you hope you like my book. Hope you'll enjoy it. I hope you'll buy it because it'll help me. Thanks very much. Take care.